Hi, my name is Mike McLaughlin. I'm Executive Vice President of Retirement Products at Ash Brokerage. Welcome back to Winning Strategies. This month, our focus is taxation and trying to maximize income. As I've said throughout the month, it's not what you earn, it's what you keep for your clients. One of the ways that we can really close the retirement gap is to maximize Social Security for our clients. We've introduced a white paper called Crossing the Bridge. It takes a look at where we are from a low interest rate environment and taking advantage of that. By using non-qualified assets between 62 and age 70, you only need about $66,000 of non-qualified assets in order to make the bridge of what a client would have received in Social Security at age 62. The effect of that is phenomenal because the client can delay Social Security until age 70. That way they step up from $750 to as much as $1,350. Now also keep in mind that your Social Security is generally only 50 to 85% taxable. So you end up keeping more of your Social Security than you would your ordinary income at that time. Also, you have some inflation protection with Social Security. Social Security increases with the, uh, uh, the CPI index. So take a look at how you can maximize Social Security with your clients by using non-qualified assets between 62 and 70. It gives you a higher Social Security income and inflation protection and less taxation on that income. So your winning strategy is talk to your clients who are getting ready to retire and who may be thinking about taking Social Security earlier. Give them a more efficient way and less taxation on their Social Security and their overall income portfolio.